Hey there, my friend, Perry Tinsley here. And today we're gonna to talk about a topic that's really close to my heart, especially when you're going after your health and fitness goals, the journey that you're on. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat this stuff because it really can get messy and in your head along the way. I mean, some days you're crushing it. Other days you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just like walking in a huge thunderstorm. The wind's right at my face and I can't get anywhere. Um, especially on those days when you've got this initial burst of energy and motivation, then all of a sudden it just fades. Like, where'd it go? I'm not, I was totally fired up an hour ago. Um, but motivation, it, it comes and, and flows in with the tide and stuff like that. I stopped re re relying on it. I mean, when it hits, I'm like, Ooh, this is so cool. But here's the kicker. True success. It lies in harnessing the power of that inner drive of yours to keep moving forward even when the motivation is at low tide and it's faded out, right? So if you're ready to just kind of just get to sailing and getting, you know, cruising right, right through even when there's rough waters there, I have no idea why I'm talking about sailing right now. Uh, I have never sailed a, before in my life, at least not run a sailboat before, but I've got some ideas for you to consider. But before we do that, I do want to welcome you to another Power Blast podcast where we provide nourishment for the soul, allowing you to transform from the inside out, uh, providing rapid results in mindset and fitness so that you can recharge your mental and physical battery and reclaim your power. And when you are ready, I've opened this up specifically for podcast viewers. Uh, head over to my calendar at talktoperry.com because I want to hear what's going on. I'll help point you in the best direction so you can get those health and fitness results that you're wanting. And it's all about really tapping into energy and keeping your energy high, reaching all of your goals. And I want to help you recharge and really reclaim your power. We do that in 15 minutes. So talk to Perry.com, go over, find the day that's perfect for you, the time, and then we'll chat. Okay, so I've had every valid reason in the book to not get started on my health and fitness journey. I mean, like, and I could back them up too. I would defend them, you know? So here, here's the thing. Uh, when, when I made the committed decision, like, okay, Perry, you're at a place in life where you promised you never would be with your health and fitness stuff. It's time to lose the beer gut. It's time to get the energy. It's stop, time to stop being grumpy. Um, because here I was, uh, overweight, overwhelmed, overworked teacher, our drive to and from work. So I'm going to give you right now the little the little basket, the grocery, uh, the, the grocery list of, um, of reasons why I shouldn't have never gotten started. So our drive, full-time teacher, um, I'm, I'm leaving the house like at 6 a.m. I'm running a dog rescue, a German Shepherd rescue. I've got five dogs of my own plus foster dogs, okay? So you can imagine the yard cleanup and stuff with that and feeding and all that stuff. Then I'm also running a, um, a, a, a my own side business of a couple of passions of mine. It was, it was web design and video production. So the schedule was constantly filled. And here I am wanting to get in shape. And it's really easy to just go, yeah, right. When are you going to do that? Get up early? Come on. You know, try to squeeze it in in the middle of your projects? Come on. Can't do it during the day. It's like you go to work with all your nice clothes on and try to hit the gym? No way. So I'm going to give you a couple of my, my favorite strategies on what I did to along the way to, to manage through that. Okay. First of all, I started setting manageable 30 day goals. Okay. I had this big goal, wanted to lose the beer gut, wanted to have the energy, wanted my clothing to fit and, uh, just wanted to feel happier and more energetic. So, um, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to set, I, I set a 90 day goal, but I took it in 30 day chunks. Okay. Now I, I approach it differently now, but in the beginning, I couldn't wait till the 90 days were done so I could just go back to life normally. Maybe I had the, the beer gut was gone and I was healthy and, and fine, but I, wa I kind of wanted to go back to default and then just go back to old ways with habits and stuff like that. You know, I can go back and have a pizza whenever I wanted, beer whenever I wanted. But those are the things that helped me drift off course. And so I'm not saying that I never had pizza or beer ever again. Love those things. But... 
I have now a, a big, fantastic, grand vision, and I encourage everybody, you know, anybody listening, to have a big vision for yourself. So many people know what they don't want out of life, and that's what they're attracting. That's what they're going for. But what is it that you do want? And don't get bogged into what I don't know how. That's the cool thing is you don't have to know the how. You know, having massive goals, they can be daunting at times. But that's where the 30-day um, thing happens. It works out perfectly because they're like stepping stones to get you to that. You know, okay, losing the beer gut in 30 days, probably not going to happen. But what are the things that need to happen to make the beer gut be gone? <laughs> so it's like, well, eating healthier, showing up for exercise, and figuring out a way when to do it, even with my busy schedule. So that was it. For the next 30 days, I'm going to be somebody that shows up for exercise, even when motivation's not there. And so that made my goal a lot more easier, a lot more, a lot more doable. I'd, I'd like to say it was fun, but I was so out of shape that it was kind of challenging to get into it. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to worry about not being out of shape and all this stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just going to go through the motions every time because I will get better. I know I will get better. In the beginning, it probably will be really tough. I'll probably be sore. I'll probably have a lot more reasons not to show up. But I showed up. And every day I showed up, I was not only changing my body, I was also changing my mindset and improving and empowering myself. And it was getting me closer to my dream, my big goal. Now, steady progress, that's the big thing. A lot of times people go all or nothing and guess which side of the scale they go in that direction. You know, they, I don't even know if it's a scale. They just go to the nothing side. You know, I'm just aiming for progress. I'm just aiming for, let's enjoy the journey this time. I'm just aiming for, let's make this a lifetime thing here in 30 day chunks. I'm guessing that another 30 day will come after the next 30 days, which after the next 30 days. So I could always ask the question, what's next? What's next? I got this far. What's next? Not when can I get be done with this? It's what's next. And so I started adopting that because the first thing I had to do was take responsibility for it. But this helps you get upbeat. It helps you stay excited. It helps you stay on track. It helps you keep moving forward no matter what the circumstance, right? So sometimes you got to give yourself a little pep talk. I get that. Um, you know, if you can get the support from family, way cool, or support from an online community or from a gym, that's way cool too. But you've got to mind your self-talk, that inner talk, that secret self that's trying to coax you back into old ways. And you've got to, you've got to identify it and become aware of it and say, you know what, that's not serving me. That's not where my goal is. And start looking at your environment and the things that you're putting and programming into your mind. You know, maybe it's, is it negative news is what you're listening to on your commute. What are you what are doing things? And they might be stuff that you really enjoy, but are they helping you propel toward your goals? And so you're replacing words in your mind that your self-talk of, I can't, to, I'm, I'm giving it my best shot. I'm doing my best. And giving yourself a pat on the back and acknowledging yourself by showing up. That's what I started doing. I showed up today, and the, the thing I did, I put an X on the calendar. One line meant I showed up for my workout. The other line meant I showed up for my nutrition best I could. Each of those ended up being wins. And my goal was to run 90 days straight because I wanted to see how, do I, how, do, how does it feel to be doing that. But along the journey of those 90 days, 30 days at a time, I was like, what's next? What's, I, can't, I can't wait till 90 days is here because what is next? Not when can I stop? Many people do that. Many people don't even get to 90 days. They're just looking for an escape hatch. When can I get off this ride? Knowing very well that if they just stayed on the ride, life would be so amazing for them. But they choose based on old programming. They aren't minding their thoughts. They're letting little things get in their way. And so you've got to keep going. And one thing, one more thing on, um, I think it's even when it comes time to acknowledging yourself, a lot of times people go, what's next, what's next, and keep moving forward. It, it's good to take a step back and really appreciate the moment. Take time to breathe. 
be kind to yourself. Appreciate what you've been doing. Appreciate as you go on and you've showed up each day. Do Putting in some affirmations, putting in some visualization into your routine. Knowing that, hey, the scale isn't saying what I want it to say, but I showed up today. Because I'm pretty certain where it would start being if I never showed up at all. So taking every step is, is progress. Boosting your energy. And that's why I tell people, hop on a call with me. I want to help you boost that energy and propel yourself going forward. I call it a, I call it a, a charge up call or recharge call because so many of us bounce from thing to thing to thing and we're so scattered, so many things flying at us and we're like a six-year-old iPhone, 2% battery life. All the warnings have gone on. Your phone's about to crash and there's no battery in, uh, charger in, in, at all. And, and you know that feeling when, when your phone's that way. That's how we're going about our life. And if it's like, oh, my gosh, I've got to exercise, I've got to do this other thing, not one more thing. And so what's the thing that, that the very things that could refuel us and boost our energy are the things that we put off because it sounds like one more thing. So I want to help you with that. Hop on a call with me, talktoperry.com, and we'll just chat for 15 minutes. And I will give you three strategies that you can use right away. So um, I want to I, I want to chat with you just a little bit about um, – when you take this approach, you're not working toward necessarily just a healthier, fitter body. And that's initially where I started, but you're building a, a stronger, more resilient mindset to take on so many things in life and help you propel in career, relationships, wealth, income, whatever that is. So you can apply these things to so many areas of life and when you've got those running in sync, oh my gosh, you, you're, you're unstoppable. So keep going, keep pushing, keep believing. I mean, you're amazing. So here's an awesome journey, better health. And let's keep this going one step at a time. If you want to be a part of one of my groups, I run a group every 30 days. I've got one going on right now. Uh, message me, Perry, put yourself first.com. Or you can even drop in the comments. Um, 30 days. You can drop the words 30 days in, into the comments there. I'll respond. I'll reach out to you and, and give you the information about our group. Because just know, you can choose to use your power and take control, or you can let the overthinking, the excuses, the justifications, the rationalization, the procrastination control you and drain your power. It really boils down to deciding and committing to yourself and your goals and choosing to figure out and being open to new ways, looking at possibilities, learning and growing. Keep moving forward, my friend. I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. You can drop those down in the comments. I promise I will respond to those. You absolutely rock, my friend. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready to recharge your battery, make sure you go to talktoperry.com. That's talk to Perry. Dot com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear, you know, what's going on. I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness I do 52 weeks of free training in there, plus I coach and I mentor people as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff, and we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend. If you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Last podcast, it helps awesome people like you find this show even faster. And that's who I'm looking for, awesome people like you. That's all I have for this week, my friend. And it, just to let you know, you absolutely rock. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you on the next Power Blast podcast. And always remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.